Okay, so I've had some people asking about um, a candidating server, how to set one up and get all the plugins set up, like paper speed and how to apply all the TNT patches. So before I get back to doing real life stuff in a couple days, I figured I could make another video or two on this. So basically what you're going to want to do is, I'll post all these links in the description, but for Pega versus Spigot, um, you can download pre-made jars, server jars online, but I wouldn't do that. I mean, you could if you want, if you want to find a good one, but you can compile it yourself pretty easily. So what you're going to want is you're going to want to download Git, um, Windows, whatever your um, thing, and just download it, install it, and get everything set up because then you will compile this by yourself. And then you want to go ahead and download um, this here. So download that. I've downloaded everything already, um, important and I'll just run through all that and compile it. And same thing here. So you want to download, um, like there's paper, tools, jar, whatever. So once we've got all that downloaded, which I've got here. Um, so as it reads, blah, blah, blah here, you listen to the, read the instructions there. Um, and we have the jar here and then we have the other download there. We want to get bash. And as the instructions say here, we want to run this. So I'm going to copy that, paste, and we're going to start compiling our own thing. So while that's going on, um, I'll talk about some plugins I have. So obviously you, you want to have like world edit, world guard, uh, all that stuff. You want to fill dispensers without having to do it by hand. So I've got dispenser tools here and this is, these are all compatible with 1.8 and all that good stuff. Sometimes you get like weird little bugs. Uh, sometimes with world edit, for example, it'll flip dispensers, but it's not that big of a deal. So we have dispenser tools here. So that's slash DT, blah, 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 blah. Uh, essentials, which is like super important for everything. Um, and you can disable commands and stuff in there. Um, massive core, which is for factions, the factions plugin, multiverse core, that lets you set up multiple worlds. So let's say you download a base on like a server and um, you can then import that world into your server without like overwriting pre-existing regions, which is like super useful. So I got a bunch um, here, like just a whole ton of um, like worlds and stuff. And then I, that's listed and I could switch between them and they all have like regions and stuff like that. Some are like really old and stuff, but yeah. So we have that um, Obsidian Destroyer. This isn't the one I use. I would rather give you like an updated download. Um, so your mileage may vary when messing with this. World Edit and then World Guard. I also use, in addition to World Edit, uh, Async World Edit, which slices like up your things and then it like pastes them. So instead of doing a huge thing at once, it does little teeny slices at once. And then you can configure that more. Uh, World Guard, okay, more like game rules and stuff. And just helps get everything set up. Let's see how this is doing. All right, so I'll wait a bit for this to go on and then I will come back to you. You can see here as I've got this going on, uh, it's, yeah, a lot of fun. And you just gotta let it grind out in your background or whatever. Uh, I don't know how much like it's really stressing anything. It's not stressing anything, but yeah, it's just going on in the background. So just wait for that. Not sure how I forgot this, but I'll go back and do this. Basically, we have like these jars and stuff, but what we want to do is we want to apply patches, and that's gonna apply like TNT patches and all that good stuff to the jar. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this. Let's see. So it's applying these, it's applying them, it's applying them, it's applying them, it's applying them. And um, I'll get back to you when it's done. So I've come back and this is now, that finished by itself and exit and closed by itself. So you can see there's like all these different like patches and stuff, which is the big thing about paper spigot. So let's go back to this and we're gonna copy the paper spigot jar. And we're just gonna ignore this. So I'm gonna just rename this as like old or something. So here we have that. Uh, what do you mean? Okay, sorry. Okay, so now we have that there. And what we need to do is we need to do like a run script or something. I do that like through a dot bat, whatever, maybe there's a better way of doing it. Um, so what this is telling it is um, there's just a bunch of random commands. Here's what I use and I've used it for like a while. So I have a minimum of four, anyways, I have a, like four to eight gigabytes of RAM allocated at a time. Um, online mode, okay, I have uh, hyper-threading, whatever. So some of this is can be different for you guys. Um, I'll post a link to something that details this maybe a little more. Basically, you just kind of need Java server, I'll like some RAM directory, online true mode, and then whatever. So we'll just give this a shot and see what happens. <coughs> OK, 
Okay, so I've got to do the ULA. Okay, so basically I had to change that to true. And let's do it again. Okay, does that mean it's done? Okay, so this is not my normal test server. Hey. So, whoop. Okay, so currently we have zero plugins. Okay, so I'm going to off myself. All right, and let's test to see if our TNT patch has worked. So the reason the way we'll test that. Okay, obviously not. So because that didn't work, basically we don't want the TNT to jump at all. We want it to like act like it's in a one by one, which that's still jumping. So I'm gonna disconnect and we're gonna go back to here. So then what you wanna do is in here we have all these like config files. So we wanna open up the con uh, paper.yml hey, with notepad, uh, plus plus, okay. Um, so let's see what's going on here. We wanna change a bunch of things because it has like patches and stuff we gotta load. So let's set TNT and all this to load chunks. This will allow your cannons to load the chunks as you're shooting it so you don't have to use alts. Um, true. I've done that again. Okay, boats drop. Okay, disable for lava fast drain false spells. Okay, um, let's see. I'll start up at the top. You can change um, lava buckets if they stack or not. Lava, lava speed. True, true, true. Lava unloaded TNT entities. Um, that you would have to maybe figure out what you want. Because I, I could imagine something bad happening with that, but it's fine. It's okay. Okay, this, uh, if you look at some of my older videos, it'll sound like crazy stuff going on. Um, that will basically just optimize the explosions. I think it's like the performance thing, which you kind of want that going on. Um, okay, fixed cannons. True. This will adjust um, some redstone timings, redstone things. Whoever made the patch, I'm not sure. Fixed cannons, true. Use hopper check, falling blocks, fight with signs. So this and stuff, um, on some servers they have like where signs, um, you can't have sand pass through them. It'll stack on top of signs or fence, um, sorry, not fences, signs, um, torches, some other items. That will, if you set this to true, which I'm going to do. It'll basically have things stack on top of signs and things that will otherwise cause problems. And um, that's good because if you're testing a cannon and you don't like you're using redstone torches, and let's say you have like the sand passing through it, and then you go on another server and it hits that, turns into a solid, the cannon blows up. You want to know that happens. Um, is there like an entity uh, limits? Uh, okay, so that's here. So we have this done. Let's go into bucket walk down my ML. Anything in here we want to change? Um, no, okay. And we'll check the spigot that YML. Okay, let's see. So you want to like not limit TNT. Max TNT per tick. Let's do that to like that. Okay, cool. Um, okay, is there anything else I want to adjust? Right now, no. Um, I can post the download to what I've got, or like the paste or whatever to what I use normally. Okay, so we have that done. Um, so we should fix cannons. So let's. Uh, crap. Actually, can I do this? We'll find out. So hopefully it didn't overwrite everything I just said.
Hagen. There we go. Okay. Yep, there we go. I just needed to restart. Um, which I can demonstrate this. Whoa, even better with this. It's going to go directly into the hole. It's not going to jump around. So that's like the biggest TNT fix thing. Cool. All right, so we've got that. Now we want to do plugins. So obviously you have like that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy over some plugins. So, uh, yep. So here's the ones I recommended, I believe. Here we go. And when we start it up again, did I copy all the schematics? It might have. It's fine. All right, so check it out. We already have more things than we did originally. So we've got plugins. What about schematics? Uh, plugins, world edit, schematics. Okay, so let's, what can I do? I'm gonna need to go back and whoop, skip world edit, make a new folder. Done. And let me copy a, a schematic. All right, so let's load up this AC-130. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, are the dispensers flipped at all? Sometimes that happens. Okay, so the async world edit speed is really slow on this, but if you guys have a slow computer, it's not really an issue. And let's see what happens. So far, it looks like everything's working, right? All right, so it looks like something weird happened here. Let's try it again. Okay, 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 and uh, where's the cannon going? This way. I've got no fucking clue where that's shooting. It's fine. It's not like it matters. Okay, stuff's falling over there. That's kind of funny. I've got these. Oh, okay. So, shit's working. So, cool. I, I'm going to go through editing this. I'll post, like, um, my, like, config files, the ones that matter for um, some of this. But yeah, that should help, I think. Sorry, this is kind of, like, random. I just literally went step-by-step step through it. 